Big night for Kylie Morrison and Logan Magnolia able to beat HSTW tonight. Kylie, it's a big win for you guys. Just your thoughts? Yeah, um, it was amazing. Um, I think both on and off the bench, uh, there was so much hype, so much energy. All the girls were talking. It was just, it was an unbelievable experience, honestly. It was so cool. There's nothing compared to that win. You kind of took the game over in the fourth quarter. Is that the way you, you kind of like it to be sometimes? Not really. I mean, I'm... I like doing what I can, and I like getting my teammates open for shots mainly. But, I mean, it is what it is. So, uh, How big of a win is this, especially from a conference angle? Um, it's a huge win for us. Um, you know, we knew Avoca came in here um, hoping to clinch the title, and we just knew we had to grind and work our tails off to get the dub. So. Was it maybe a little bit circled on your calendar after you'd played them the first time and you knew maybe you could have played better? Yeah, for sure. I think every practice leading up to this one, we uh, really knew that we needed to work. So we worked hard. Seemed like HSTW never really got into a complete rhythm. What were you guys doing well defensively? Um, I think we were talking and we were frustrating them a little bit with that. Um, we also have worked on our defense a lot, so I think staying low, helping on uh, Jones on the inside, she's an amazing player too. I think helping on her really helped us. So. Of course, you had a big night mainly from the free throw line, but some of your teammates stepped up and hit big shots, like Emily Thompson in the first half and Violet Lapke in the second half. Uh, kind of talk about their contributions a little bit. Um, yeah, Violet and Emily, so we've grown up playing ball together, so them hitting those big shots. I mean, they're used to that. They're used to the hype. It's amazing watching them. I love seeing them knock down the shots. We get hype. We look at each other. You know, it's just that amazing connection that, you know, between all of us, even everybody else, too. So it's awesome. You guys were up 14 at one time, and then they cut it to three in a pretty short span. Was there some nervousness coming in at that time? What did you have to do to dig deep? And, and after they got it to three, you really grabbed the lead right back. Um, I don't think any of us were really nervous. I think we just knew, just needed to take a deep breath, just needed to calm down a little bit and get back into our rhythm and get back into our game. All right, Coach, I'm on the road. Not an easy place to play and a big win for you guys tonight. Just your thoughts? Um, I guess first and foremost, I'm extremely proud of our kids. Uh, you know, we battled. Um, they're, they're an outstanding team. Uh, Coach Vane does just an outstanding job with them. Um, you know, I think they had they have four kids, obviously, that, that look to score. And, you know, you look at our size compared to their size. We, you know, we really, it was a matchup nightmare for us. You know, we tried to make some small adjustments and that. And, you know, I thought the kids bought into, you know, a few things that we thought we could try and do and, you know, on that. But I'm more, uh, more proud of our kids, of just the talking, the little things. Talk, communicate. Um, you know, tagging on box outs, those types of things, and you know, and that, and we've always been preaching all season. You know, it's the little things that it comes down to. How important was the pace in this game, and what did you do to control that? Um, you know, I think we, you know we wanted to get up and down a little bit, but you know, they've got some outstanding athletes, and Denning, Harris, Scheffler, um, Jones will run with the best of them as well. I mean, she does a great job rim running. You know, on that, so I think both teams wanted to play up and down a little bit. Uh, you know, on that, I felt we were maybe a little bit deeper, but you're also, when you go to your bench, you're counting on some role players to, to play within their role, and I thought they did a good job of that as well tonight. Big night at the free throw line for you guys. I think 21 of 24 total, something like 16 of 18 from the line. As a coach, that's something you guys practice a lot. I'm sure you had to like that. Yeah, you know, obviously if you can shoot it that well, but you know, one of the things that we do in practice every day, I mean, we're shooting free throws, but we're shooting them when we're tired. We try to make it as game-like as we can, and you know, and that, and I thought it paid off for us tonight, but uh, you know, I think too, credit to our kids, um, and that I think we got it to the right people um, at those free throw situations, or you know, or got the right people to the free throw line at the right time, especially at the end of the game there when we knew they were going to come to foul. Guys, was it kind of hard to not take off the gas too much, but want to take care of the ball? I thought you executed that pretty well. Yeah, a little bit. I thought we went through a stretch there. Um, end of the third quarter, geez, I think it was like deja vu uh, back at our place a little bit. Girl hit three. Uh, they turned around with the uh, possession arrow to start the fourth quarter. Um, and that, but you know, I, I thought we let up a little bit defensively, just lack of communication. And a good team like Avoca certainly is going to take advantage of that, and they did tonight, um, you know, on that. But like I said, we tried to control the pace a little bit. Um, we looked a little bit at their depth and, and thought, hey, if we've got good enough ball handlers, maybe we can control that a little bit, maybe take their legs out a little bit, maybe late in the fourth quarter when they're looking to shoot some uh, three pointers. How do you guys try to build a win off this as we go into February? You know, certainly, you know, one of the things we just talked about our kids in the, in the, uh, in the locker room, you know, I said we can't script this really any better. We're on the road playing an outstanding. I think the number eight, number eight ranked team in Class Two A. You know, that's sitting at what 15 and one. 
Um, and that, that tells you how good they are. Um, but to go on the road and, and uh, you know, great environment here at Avoca, I think the stands behind us um, are almost full, you know, and to play a, uh, this level of competition, to kind of get you ready for tournament time, as like I said, we can't script that any better.